New observations suggest the existence of a second Kuiper belt in the solar system. While searching for new targets for NASA's New Horizons probe, scientists spotted several objects orbiting beyond the Kuiper belt. These findings, if confirmed, could suggest that the Kuiper belt either extends much further than previously thought or, given the gap of 10 astronomical units between these objects and the Kuiper belt, a second such structure exists. The solar system, especially those parts of it closer to the sun, are quite well understood, but the further we get from a star, the less we know what's there. The outer reaches of our planetary system are a little known, mysterious place. We have a general picture of this region of space, with the Kuiper belt, similar to the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter but much larger and composed of small icy bodies and a few dwarf planets. We also know that the Oort cloud lies much further beyond the Kuiper belt. It is a spherical cloud of gases and dust as well as smaller and larger objects, which extends from 300 to even 100,000. Astronomical units, one astronomical unit, O, is approximately the average distance of the Earth from the Sun, approximately 150 million kilometers. However, the details of the outer solar system are unknown to us and difficult to fathom. The Kuiper belt extends from 30 to about 50 astronomical units from the Sun. This is a huge area extending beyond the orbit of Neptune. It contains many small objects that are remnants of the formation of the solar system. It is home to at least three dwarf planets, Pluto, Haumea and Makemake. However, after 50 astronomical units, the Kuiper belt suddenly ends and the number of objects present their drops to zero. Meanwhile, in other planetary systems, similar belts extend for hundreds of astronomical units. The weird thing about our solar system is that we're so damn small, said Wesley Fraser of the National Research Council Canada. But new observations suggest that there may be a second such structure beyond the familiar Kuiper belt. NASA astronomers, looking for the next target for the New Horizons probe, observed several objects located outside the Kuiper belt, at a distance of well over 50 astronomical units. Moreover, the New Horizons spacecraft, which is currently located about 57 astronomical units from the Sun, is sending back very interesting data that seems to confirm ground-based observations. In July 2015, this probe made history by flying close to Pluto. On December 31, 2018, it reached an object in the Kuiper belt, Ultima Thule, also known as 486958, Arica. It is currently rushing beyond the boundaries of the solar system. Many of her instruments were put into hibernation for the duration of the journey and without a designated destination. But the dust detector works continuously. Dust is a characteristic sign of the collision of various space objects. The New Horizons mission management team expected the amount of dust to decline rapidly after the spacecraft left the Kuiper belt. But that's not what happens at all. The amount of dust does not decrease. The simplest explanation is that there are more objects there that we simply haven't detected, said Alan Stern, principal investigator of the mission at the Southwest Research Institute. Astronomers outside the team are intrigued but demand proof. If there really is a second lane, it's an extremely exciting thing, admitted Pedro Bernardinelli of the University of Washington. However, other observations do not confirm the revelations about the second belt. Yet unpublished results from a recent survey of the outer solar system using the Victor M. Blanco telescope in Chile suggests there is nothing there. Scientists examined a different part of the sky but they saw only one object at a distance greater than 50 astronomical units. Other observations in this area also indicate emptiness. Why can't we see anything there? 
Is everyone just unlucky? It's possible, but unlikely, Bernardinelli said. Astronomers admit that it is difficult to observe the vicinity of new horizons from Earth. Kuiper belt objects are small and difficult to see. In addition, new horizons, seen from Earth, appears to be flying straight towards the bright center of the Milky Way, and its glow further interferes with observations. Astronomers use artificial intelligence algorithms to review images to speed up their work. This provided clear signatures of at least 12 previously unknown objects located beyond the known Kuiper belt. Data from the Hubble Space Telescope may provide additional clues. The telescope is equipped with sensors to track the position of the stars, which stare at them continuously, helping to orient the telescope. Over 20 years of observations, these sensors briefly darkened three times, suggesting that the stars were obscured by unknown objects in or beyond the Kuiper belt. Is there a larger population of space objects beyond 50 astronomical units? It can be like that. Maybe that's what we're seeing, but we're not sure. Admitted Hilke Schlichting from the University of California, Los Angeles. Astronomers behind the recent observations believe that one reason the Victor M. Blanco telescope did not produce similar results may be because objects are clustered near New Horizons path, perhaps by Neptune's gravity. Just as intriguing as the new objects is the apparent difference in the number of bodies beyond 50 astronomical units. Something is responsible for maintaining this gap, admitted Mihaly Horanyi, a physicist at the University of Colorado Boulder who oversees the New Horizons dust detector. In other systems, planets orbiting a dusty disk create similar gaps by concentrating the material they encounter around themselves. However, no large planet has been observed in the gap beyond 50 astronomical units. This gap may also be a relic from the formation of the solar system. The team recently began using a new optical filter on the Subaru telescope in Hawaii, which Fraser says will allow him to see fainter and smaller objects. Now scientists are analyzing the observational data. If a second Kuiper belt actually exists, observations should reveal a dozen or so new, distant objects. And if those expectations aren't met, it means we've missed something, Fraser explained. The results and description of the observations are being prepared for publication and have not yet appeared in a peer-reviewed scientific journal.